My name is Louise and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you as um, I'm a very new to dressmaking and sewing, um, I'm going to be showing you the bits and pieces, the kit that I've got together to basically start doing that and um, also uh, my first sort of uh, dressmaking project which is going to be a tunic. I'll show you the uh, actual pattern and the materials I've got to do that with. Um, so yeah, let's get so, into that. First off, this is my sewing machine. It is a Singer Fashion Mate. I think it's 3342. Um, so it's like a mid-range sort of starter machine. It's not uh, the most basic and uh, it's not, it hasn't got like a million and one uh, stitches but it doesn't need to basically and it, it's not electronic and it doesn't need to be um, basically people say that uh, as, as long as you've got um, a straight stitch and um, for, for woven fabrics and a zigzag stitch or stretch stitch for jersey jersey knits knit fabric that's all you really need um, this is a good one though because it's also got an automatic needle threader it's got obviously the, the different stitch selections here and you can change the tension and the length of the stitch and the width of the stitch. Um, and for a complete novice, it's actually really easy to thread and uh, thread the bobbin. It's got a, if I can tip it forward, <laughs> um, it's got a, um, what's that, a top, top loading uh, bobbin with a clear uh, bobbin uh, cover. So um, that's easier and you can see see what's going on and uh, a lot easier than some of the ones that have the uh, the front loading one. I think that's right. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a great little uh, machine. Um, I actually got this one from Argos. As I say, I'm in the UK, so I got it from Argos. It was, I think I paid 215. Yeah, so what have I actually been sewing? I got it in sort of mid... July last year during lockdown. First things I actually did was um, did a cut of face masks because you know that's you know they were relatively easy. It was a uh, YouTube tutorial that I saw. Uh, presumably that is still up. So if it is, I will link it below because um, it was quite easy one to follow. Um, so I did do a couple of um, two or three. What I uh, did at the time of the new year, I thought, um, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll just have a look at all these different um, sewing uh, channels that I've uh, started to follow on YouTube, you know, beginning ones, beginners ones, and that kind of thing. And I found um, I could actually do with a few more pairs of knickers, uh, or panties as you call them in America. And so I thought, well, I might as well you know, make them. How hard can it be? um so yeah so i've got a pattern it is actually uh this oh if i can uh, show you this it's the acacia curve because it's the bigger sizes um pattern by megan nielsen who is actually uh in australia she's based in australia but it's a pdf pattern that you can actually um download basically i got all this information from a video by stitch sisters um which i will link down below and it just takes you through it really really simply and easily having said that for a very first beginner project apart from the, the little face masks um it's not the easiest because you're dealing with stretch fabric and you're putting elastic in and um, that is not the easiest thing in the world to do, you know, straight off the bat, basically. Now, I have, I haven't quite finished the first pair. So I'll show you what I have done, which is uh, these ones. Now, you will probably see, as uh, hopefully you'll watch more of my videos, that um, purple is my favourite colour. So I've got these purple ones. Now, there we go, at the moment, they're not completely finished. Yeah, where the elastic is, is before you actually turn it in it does look a bit like 70s wife bunch really doesn't it i'm just glad they're not brown or yellow or orange or something like that so anyway so this top bit i have actually um turned the elastic over like you're supposed to do this is proper knicker elastic it's called um pico p-i-c-o-t 
um, elastic and it's really cheap um, I got everything I either got things from Amazon or eBay for my actual um, supplies apart from the fabric that's coming up which uh, for my first project which I'm going to show you my first dressmaking project which I'm going to show you which is from Minerva crafts but um, I'll go into that a little bit later um, yeah so uh, as I say these ones aren't totally finished yet so you have to put the elastic in all the way around and you tur then turn the elastic in and um, stitch it on the top so I think I've done some of one leg uh, see that bit that bit's been done but then this bit hasn't yet and you know this this side hasn't at all it's got it's it, the elastic is in it's a bit of a mess there the elastic is in but then it needs turning so it shows more of just that bit on a professional finish so, yeah I will I will get them done eventually and I've got enough material to make probably another four of them um, I just bought this I think it was a stretchy uh, stretchy jersey just a plain purple and um, yeah so I think I bought I think I just bought a meter of it yeah I just bought a meter of it um, so that's the width it is quite wide and as you can see I've got got bits out the bottom it but to make those first ones but um, so yeah I will um, finish those ones off and then do the rest of them so it's, you know for, for a very first go it isn't too bad I think and it's only me you know it's only for me to work so um, I think that's not too bad at all before I go on to my actual tunic pattern that I am going to be making up which is going to be in woven fabric it's going to be my first you know proper dress um, making uh, venture I will actually go through the rest of the equipment that I've bought so far and that I think is all that I need for well for, for, for a fair while um, yeah so we will do that next so from the ironing point of view I did go ahead and get a mini ironing board like a tabletop one um, just because I think it'll be easier um, to have it sort of when you're maybe need to press seams as you're going along I think obviously that's just plonked on top of my uh, printer at the moment, but it won't be when I'm actually doing it um, so that's that and it's a nice uh, sewing dress making pattern as well so that's good uh, where did I get that from? most of these things I got from Amazon in one sort of bulk order so uh, yes this would have been an Amazon one and I think it was probably about £12 something like that um, £10-£12 yeah, so also at the same time, put that back, I got a little mini iron to go with because an iron board is not really much good, is it? So I've got this little mini iron and it's fab. Um, it's a little steam iron. Um, it could be cast a travel iron, I suppose. But yeah, it's just the right kind of size. It's got a little um, holder there too so um yeah that's a good one that again i did get from amazon and that was 20 quid i do remember that one um so i thought that was great so that's for that and also i don't know if you watch um the great british sewing bee which obviously i do i've loved it right from the beginning um they use these hams these uh, they're called pressing hams um because when you're doing a curved when you're pressing open a curved you know seem like an armhole or a or a, a neck I can't think of the bloody word now <laughs> um, or or a, a, a neckline you can actually cur you can actually do it round the curve so it doesn't get all sort of crinkly or creased or whatever and these have got sawdust in them so it actually um, kind of it's rock hard at the moment because I haven't used it but um, you can uh, yeah it, it, you know it absorbs the uh, the steam or whatever you want to use a bit of it so uh yeah that's good i think that was about again about, was about 17 quid something like that again from amazon so that's another one that um is good and uh yeah i'm kind of going for a, for a theme so if it's sort of bluish or my purple you know i will tend to like try and go for those colors if there's an option so that's that
did like this video please give it a thumbs up and 